Cancer is just a specific form of what? Of, of the sickness and separation. And as long as we still have an unconscious, hidden belief in sickness, that's a predicament. And how, how, can, how can we heal when subconsciously we still believe in sickness? So really what we're doing here is we're starting off with, that, with the questions and the things that come at us. And, and that's the fun, I really enjoy being around Armel, because I watch her just, the people are coming daily and this, 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 just some of the, the amazing guidances that have come through. And, the, and at the other end of the phone they're like, what? Or whatever, you know, it's, you, we get lots of practice at being uncompromising, at truly being uncompromising, and I think that's really where your joy comes in, your, your, just this bursting joy is, it's coming from having practiced true empathy, being uncompromising, really again, it's all really with thoughts in the mind. It's not so much with people, because people are just reflections of thoughts, but it's really in the mind, having that much determination to be in true empathy, to be uncompromising in the it's mind. It's oneself, yeah. that's really what it is, it's just not allowing thoughts of littleness, thoughts of separation, to really linger in the mind, to not allowing to believe them, to give them power, to give them attention, to go with the story that is told, but just really staying in truth and have this determination really, to stay there. And so how do you stop yourself or how does one, I mean give us a, like, a situation. I mean most of us aren't going to be there right away, right? So you begin to believe the story and then what do you, how do you stop yourself? How do you center or empty or just what's the process for you? Or has have you mastered it that it's become second nature? You know what I I'm have saying? no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah. Well, I think you can tell. I you. think that um, when I was in, actually, I've been put in many, many assignment many roles in this community and the, the spirit used me in many assignments and I've been put in many um, stewardship role where I was holding expression session and and it's such a great opportunity actually to watch my mind to watch what I was believing that people were telling and and the more that stories were told the more I would watch where there was a reaction in myself where there was no reaction and I would just practice forgiveness for myself realizing that whenever someone is sharing it's always if I have any reaction it's my forgiveness it's never about them at all if I don't have any reaction then it's just flowing through and it's just part of whatever's happening in the moment but if there is the smallest contraction or the smallest upset like even a <gasps> That is an upset and it's just to look at okay what is it that i'm believing in right now that makes me feel separate from that person and that i believe in the story and so i would just watch my mind constantly constantly for years or month mm -hmm. i don't know and um yeah and at some point i was just i would just realize that, that i don't know how it happened but just that truly it's all thoughts that there is never anyone outside of myself, that it's all myself, I only meet myself, and everyone is always <coughs> talking to me about what's going on in my mind, and and that I'm always encountering myself, and whatever comes my way, it's actually, it's not even that it's my mind, it's the mind that has such a strong call to wake itself up, that brings in awareness everything. And just by this awareness, I would just be very present, and, and really practice a deep listening, not listening to people's world, word necessarily, but just really listening to the spirit inside. So that my listening would not be outside. I even, I still have the experience right now actually, but for several months, two years ago, I think for six months, I would not hear from this ear. And it would change my whole experience. It was so beautiful. I was so grateful for this experience because it felt like the spirit was I took it like the spirit was telling me, it's time for you to stop to listen to the world now and to really go inward. And during that time I had so many deep mystical experiences where I just felt that everything fell away, 
that I could really feel there is no one living this life, it's all empty, it's just life happening every moment, there's really no one here. And, and just having those experiences over and over and over again. And those experiences would be what, what convinced me of the truth, because these are glimpses that are very helpful to be able to let go of what I think I, I still think I am. Because how do you jump into something that you, you think you don't know when you're so identified with something? The, the spirit needs to do a convincing job. And it's by having all those deep experience that you can realize that, oh, but I've never been all those things, actually. I've never been what I'm holding on to. I've never been what I think I am. <coughs> and so that would just allow and ease the letting go, actually. Mm -hmm. And and those, yeah, I feel that everything has been given. So it's really difficult for me to answer your question because I'm really not aware. I did it. I don't feel that. I feel that none of this process of awakening that I'm walking, I did anything. I can, s I could say, yeah, I did that, but mm -hmm. it doesn't resonate in my heart anymore. I feel like it's been done through, over and over again. I never did any of it, and and. I think that we all have this inner wisdom and we share we share what's coming through us for sure and it <coughs> might resonate deep inside and there will be a word like I remember David at um, a New Year's retreat would have said something like everyone is always bringing up all your unconscious beliefs and I would take that and that would be that would be the, the hate for me and I would just stay with it everything would be that, that only practice it would be my whole practice, it would be, okay, this is my unconscious belief, so if I want to release my mind from the belief in separation and empty my mind, I'm just going to I'm just gonna watch everything that I'm reacting to, everybody that I'm reacting to, and I would come in touch with those beliefs in myself, and I would be totally uncompromising with that. Mm -hmm. And that's how all those experiences would happen, where I would okay. realize, but there is no one outside of myself. If they are bringing up my unconscious beliefs, then they're me, and, and I would just come in those experiences where it seemed that it's all thoughts. There's really never anyone telling me anything, asking me anything, requesting anything from me, wanting anything from me, um, blocking me, limiting me, um, demanding it anything. It's never the case. It's always the mind <coughs> that wants to wake, it, to wake itself up, that is bringing up all the unconscious stuff. That is that is there, so that it can be released. So, um, can you just go back a little? And okay, so in the maybe that was the early part, right? So, when there is a reaction coming, right? When you're reacting or contracting, you're going to have a slight fear or discomfort. How do you interpret that? That this is my aunt. what is it? How do you? How do you? What do you tell yourself? This is not now. I mean, then I guess at the beginning when it's you're learning to the react. This is my unconscious what beliefs. Beliefs. So the, your reaction is that what you're looking at? And maybe I'm yeah. too much in my head, but I want to understand the you know. It's pretty. It, it can be simplified. It's it's just we call. It, I mean, in in Austin Powers, it's called Mini Me. <laughs> it's the little I. It's the little. It's the person personality or whatever. Any thoughts that involve the personality self or the mask are the are the, the substitute for for Christ. I'm making it up. Yeah. It? And and if you just stay in the moment then whatever <coughs> arises, you know, you can see that if you just if you're constantly just seeing, releasing, it's almost like the Eastern netting netting, not this, not that. There's a lot of not 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 it's through negation of, of just watching, like you that, said, that that. Yeah. noticing, watching, just <laughs> watching, no, watching no, yeah. in the mind, no, no, no. and and then you stay really vigilant with that, and then it, you suddenly are clueless about the whole world. Like people will say, what what is a retreat, or what is a gathering, or what is a one on one, <laughs> or what is you know whatever, you know it's you don't identify with any of it. It all turns into the same. It's just you're, it's the same <laughs> moment. <laughs> the moment is the same. The images don't change the moment. You stay with the moment. You stay living in the moment. Very attentive, like you were saying. And then if just anything arises that's a false identity idea, it's that I that wants to 
claimed something, done, did something in the past, is, could do something in the future, whatever, it's all hypothetical. The hypothetical I, we have to let it fully flush up and we have to have a good laugh at it. You know, we have to really, really watch it and just see that we are not any hypotheticals. That, that God didn't create us to be a hypothetical. We're created to be a divine being, in the, created in the likeness of God. We aren't a hypothetical. And it's actually very practical to do, when you really use this as your practice. You can practice with anything yeah. at all. And, and then for some it's like, well that's a bit far out because how can you practically even live in this world? Well, that, we call that guidance, but even that's in the present moment. We're not talking about future guidance, or guidance on the timeline, like some intellectual discussion of guidance, but what is, what are you given in the moment? Isn't that glorious that anything that you would even seem to need will, will be dropped in and just given to you perfectly easily and wonderfully without having to try to even figure it out. It's so easy, really, it's the easiest, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, to just be so trusting and let everything just be given and also just watch, give your full attention to watching your mind. Full attention.